So last week I made a tutorial for Anime Studio users on how to chroma key or use the alpha channel to basically take your animation beyond the software and put it into a video editing software and apply effects, you know, using After Effects or Premiere or any number of editors that you may use. And so I showed the benefits to that and how to do it. And I don't want to, of course, forget my Flash viewers out there. So this tutorial is for you guys. We're basically basically going to look at how to do the same techniques, but in Flash. So Chroma King is basically when we remove a color from the video to further enhance the video by maybe replacing a background or by isolating elements so that we can edit them more precisely. Um, in this case, we'll show that, but we'll also show the alpha channel technique, which is much more, I would say, um, usable because I think it gives you more control. But anyway, what I have right here, I'm open in Flash and I have a project file open, a very old project file, I might add. I was having a hard time finding a, a good example here. But basically, we have a poorly designed Mario <laughs> basically running across the, uh, across the screen. Um, the first thing I'll show you is you'll notice that I have a blue background. So let's take a look at that first. And if I go to File and um, Export Animation, that's what I want to do. So Export Movie. And then you could, you know, save the movie as a QuickTime file. And from here, you could, you know, do all your settings and hit export, and then you could export the movie out. Now, when we go into a software like Premiere, and I already have my assets imported in here, I can grab the blue back video clip that I just exported. So you have Mario running in a blue background. And if you wanted to go this route, the chroma key route, in a software like Premiere, and if you're using Final Cut Pro, Sony Vegas, if you're using basically any video editor, you're gonna have probably a similar uh, workflow here to when it comes to chroma keying. You're gonna have similar effects and steps and basically to get where you need to go to chroma key this out. But in Premiere at least, you have an effects tab and underneath the effects tab, you have a keying folder and then you have a chroma key option. And if I just move that to the clip, and if I select the color, the eyedropper tool, I should say, and click on the blue background, I can eliminate the blue background, and then you could blend and stuff. And then you could go from there and you know try to uh, fix it up and kind of get the chroma key thing going on. And you could then add in, let's say for instance, a background, which I don't know why, I just grabbed a background here. You could add in like a, a starry background or something and you could go from there and you know have something different going on. So that's that's one way you could do it. Um, that's not how I recommend it though um, because it, again you kinda have the blue areas still forming here over the hills and sometimes through Mario and the clouds and that sort of thing. The clouds aren't transparent um, as they originally were in Flash. So let's take a look at how to create an alpha channel so that we can basically do this in a more clean way, I guess. So let's come back here to Flash. And the first thing we want to do is get rid of this background entirely. So let's say you have an outside background like I do. You have a sky. You're going to want to get rid of the sky. Or you're going to want to get rid of the thing that you want to basically isolate. In this case, if you wanted Mario to be present through the whole thing and nothing else, you would probably want to eliminate every asset on screen. So once you've done that, you can go back to File and Export and Export Movie, and you're gonna go through the process here. You're gonna to wanna to make it a QuickTime file. Hit Save, and the key here is to click the Ignore Stage Color button because this will generate the alpha channel. And that's what we're going to want here. And also with the QuickTime settings, I usually use animation as the uh, codec, but you can choose anything that you would want to use that would work for you. Uh, I Again, I use animation because of the color aspect, but there's many different codecs out that you can try. So try animation first. If it doesn't work for you, try something else. So 
Once you've done that, you can click export and it'll export the file out. Now, once you have the file, we can pop over to Premiere and I have my file right here. So I can bring the file in and it'll look like the background is black. But in fact, when I bring the image in, you can see it's not. And of course, the advantage here is you can tell that the clouds also retain their alpha, their transparency, basically. So you have that advantage over the chroma keying. And all you have to do is just click that button to get the alpha channel. Now there's one more thing we can do here because I've explained this quite a bit in my, uh, at least in some of my tutorials when it comes to flash. There is kind of an issue when you do the QuickTime exporting in flash. If your videos are longer or if they're more detailed, you'll get glitches um, or you'll get slowdown. There's all sorts of little issues that can occur. And I did a tutorial on how to basically export all of your frames as images and recompile them. And you could then get a basically a flawless export exported video through that. I know there's other ways to export now. There's other ways to transfer. But if you are following along with that method with uh, exporting all your images, what you would do is go to File, Export, and Export Movie. Of course, you would find a folder to save your images in. I already have one here that I did. Um, and as the save as type, you're going to want to choose PNG sequence and then hit save. And then here you would just want to make sure your colors are 32 bit. I would recommend you do full document size and click smooth. And then you can hit export. It'll export all of your images out. As you can see right here, I have all the frames exported out and all of them have an alpha channel because they're PNG files. So now, and I've, I'm using an old software for this. I probably should upgrade it, but I will open up what I call what's called a vision lab. And I believe you can do this through after effects as well. You can bring in image streams and then export them out. But the upgraded version of vision lab will be called hit film of this as of this recording. So what I did was I imported, imported an image stream here. And we have, of course, the video here. And then I just go to render and render settings and make sure I'm on QuickTime and I have retain alpha channel selected. And then I can go to render, of course, name the file, find the location and hit save. Now, when you do this, the compression type might be set to PNG. It might want to do that because you basically imported PNG files, but I found out as I was tinkering with this, it actually doesn't retain the alpha channel when you do a PNG video export. So make sure that you're on animation or another one that um, allows for the alpha channel. Again, I know animation works for sure. So I'd click OK, render it out. And then if I go back here to Premiere, sure enough, here's my image stream one. I bring it in and you can see it also um, retains the uh, Oops, I uh, <laughs> better uh, position these correctly. You can see that it retains the alpha channel. So that's just another way to do it. But anyway, that's a little bit about how you would do the alpha channel. It's basically just a one-click thing. But I thought I would show you a few different ways here that you could achieve the effect because some people still might want to do the the blue background or the green background for the chroma keying, or they might want to do the image export and basically, you know, a few different options here for you to play with. So anyway, if you guys are looking for more free Flash tutorials or animation tutorials, anime studio tutorials, you can visit my website, IncredibleTutorials.com. If you're looking for premium lessons, I also have IncrediblePhiles.com. Those are more extensive lessons that you could check out. I also have IncredibleTutoring.com, which allows you to sign up for private tutoring so that we can uh, work with your project one-on-one -on -one and get you on the right track. So anyway, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time.